Hello there, it's Sev from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to my video guide for the whale heating and hot water system that features the controls you see in front of you here. Uh, so I'm specifically referring to these two controls plus these here. Very, very easy to use. Now you may have a vehicle that only has one of these. You may have just the whale water heater, you may just have the whale space heater, or you can have both together. And of course, just take what you need from this video to understand how to use those respective parts of the system. But in this video, I am gonna be covering both. Now this particular system for both the uh, heating or the hot water, you have the option of gas or electric energy selection. So first of all, we're gonna start with the easy one, which is the water heater. And that's these switches here. It is labeled whale water heater at the top to make it clear and obvious. And as you can see, we have two switches. The one on the left is a two position switch. The one on the right is a three position switch. Starting with the one on the left, this is the gas heating uh, or gas hot water option. So the switch in the top position on the zero means the gas is off, the system is off. But if I flick to the flame, that means we are now on and the system will use gas and heat the hot water. Easy as that. And of course, we just turn off when we are happy. The other side, the three position switch is for electric use. The middle position, also with the zero, is off. And then we have options of low power electric or high power electric, respectively, which we do just by clicking the switch to whichever position we want. OK, and that's it. So whether you're using uh, gas or electric for your hot water, you have the choice of both there. Now, refer to your manual. I know that some heating, oh, sorry, hot water systems do uh, work fine using both energy sources at once uh, because you can combine the power of both systems to uh, really get things hot nice and quickly. Uh, but if you're unsure as to whether or not you want to do that, uh, then you can just use one or the other. And typically, not always the case, but typically the gas is the more powerful of the two. Um, so the gas is probably three or maybe four kilowatt, whereas the electric may only be two kilowatt at absolute maximum there. So that's the hot water. Now we'll talk about the whale heater, which is this one at the bottom. And as you can see, there's two parts to this control here. Uh, the first one, the left hand side is the energy selection. OK, so we just turn this dial to choose whichever energy source we want to use. But there's also a fan position here. Now, typically this system uses a blown air uh, system to move the warm generated air into the vehicle. The fan position here just turns on the fan on its own. It's not going to cool any air and it's not heating it. It's just circulating ambient air, which can be nice on a hot still day. Otherwise, we have options of gas at the bottom where there's a little flame mark just here that then chooses gas as your heating option. Or we have different amounts of wiggly lines. These correspond to increasing power levels for electric. So this would be low power electric, medium power electric or high power electric. And again, the wattage is exactly I am not familiar with, but you'll be able to refer to your manual to find out exactly what wattage each of those sex, uh, uh, settings is going to be using. And once you've chosen your desired energy selection, you can then choose your desired temperature using the dial on the right. OK, and at the lowest setting, it should prevent the unit from freezing. So you could put it, for example, on low power electric on the snowflake setting, and that will not really get hot that you would feel inside the vehicle, but it will certainly stop the unit itself from receiving any kinds of cold weather damage. And that is it. OK, if you have any red warning lights coming up, that's usually a bad thing. Um, so you might have to refer to your manual. Uh, if it's gas related, of course, just double check. You do have uh, gas in your cylinders, your gas valves are on and those kind of things. Um, if it's electric related, it, just make sure you are plugged into mains electricity and you do have a working supply. Uh, if it's anything more complicated than that, that um, then you may obviously need to get in touch with your uh, dealership to discuss uh, having it looked at. Um, so that's the whale heating and hot water systems. I'm Sev. 
I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.